I'm Dick Dameron, and I'm a survivor. Hard times, glory days, suicide, backstage ladies, booze, drugs, and religion are all part of the story of Dick Dameron's life. These days, he's telling that story in the relative quiet of retirement from the wild ride of a lifelong career as a touring country musician. Everybody happy in Mazatlan. My days are all behind me. I'm just kind of uh, out to pasture and writing a few songs and writing a book. And, but I'm not really out there on the road uh, battling for position anymore. These days, Dameron spends most of the year in Mexico, where he does the bulk of his writing. I had all of these stories, life stories of being on the road, and everybody kept saying, well, you got to put that all down so it isn't all lost when you're gone. Those stories cover a lot of ground, including his early years as a child, young musician, husband, and father in Bentley, Alberta. One of the best uh, Bentley stories, I think I did a show for the senior citizens one time, and there was a lady that wanted to introduce me and I said, well, you don't really have to introduce me in Bentley. I think all these people here know me. She said, no, I want to introduce you. So she got up and she said, you know, today there's kids that are terrorizing the town of Bentley, driving cars with no mufflers and motorcycles up and down the streets. She says, I remember when little Dickie Dameron did that single-handed on horseback. <laughs> After the legend and the legacy, Dameron branched out into writing novels. The one I'm working on now is called Refried Dreams, and it's anecdotes and short stories and tidbits that I've picked up over the years, uh, both here in Canada on the road and in Las Vegas and during the winter months in Mexico. Besides the longer works, he's still writing, performing, and recording music. I've got some guitar jazz instrumentals. I've got a um, kind of a rock song called The Spirit of the Child. I've got uh, a funny little song called Can Dicky Come Out to Play? As the creator of 50 hit singles and almost 30 albums, he's now writing for personal rather than commercial reasons. Now when I record an album, it's just I try to pick the best songs that I have to make a well-rounded album. Social media and other internet applications help him promote those recordings. My new uh, CD package is a three CD package and it's up on the internet and uh, you can click on that and listen to 10 or 15 seconds of all of the songs on there. and. Uh, it's like a commercial, you know. It's a commercial for the thing like the things you used to see on KTEL, you know. I used to think that you were on. It's the hard knocks life that make a man. It's the hard knocks life that make a man. Dameron's music has won him multiple awards in Canada, Texas, and Europe, and his legendary status became official in 1994. Well, he's been on tour, he's pretty well done it all, and hundreds of thousands of miles later, he's Dick Dam, member of the Canadian Music Hall of Fame. I guess personally I got to be uh, pretty thankful, and I do count my blessings every day, and uh, yet I have my moments where uh, you kind of have vague feelings of despair with uh, what is happening in some circles in the music and the entertainment thing, but who knows what'll come next. Maybe it'll be uh, uh, country rap or something, you know, where there's no melody to it. You just think, well, I've been a woman, I'm rolling down the road. Whatever, the future can take care of itself. Meanwhile, Dick Dameron takes in the odd festival at home and reconnects with his past. I always enjoy those kind of things and it's a nice chance to get to see a lot of the old friends and people that you haven't worked with for years like uh, Lisa Brokop and David Essig. He's also spending more time with old friends he hasn't actually met. As far as writers I tend to like the crazies like um, Hunter S. Thompson and things like that. Some of his best friends are ones he's created. As far as my own favorite of of my own music, I would have to go with Jesus, It's Me Again, just to, because of the way it's connected with other people. As 
Patricia Smith, Shaw TV, Bentley. Reach out your hand.